What lies hidden inside a 4,500-year-old pyramid towering 480 feet above the sands of Egypt? When researchers sent a robotic camera deep inside its narrow tunnels, the camera suddenly stopped, facing a mysterious stone slab. Experts believe that behind that slab could be a secret buried for over four millennia. They had to know the truth, so they drilled a tiny hole and sent the camera through what it saw had never been witnessed by human eyes for 4,500 years. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Today, we re unlocking one of the greatest archaeological mysteries in human history, the Great Pyramid of Giza, Egypt's most fascinating and mind-blowing creation, a monument so perfect that it has survived thousands of earthquakes, storms, and wars, and yet has not moved even an inch. There are 138 pyramids scattered across Egypt, but none as majestic and mysterious as this one. The Great Pyramid's base area alone is 13 acres, large enough to fit nine football fields. It was built using 2.3 million massive limestone blocks, some weighing over 50 tons each. That's the weight of 12 Burj Khalifas combined. But here asks the real question, how did ancient Egyptians build such a colossal structure without cranes, steel, or modern tools? This isn't just a pile of rocks. It's a masterpiece of engineering that poses some serious challenges to our understanding of the past. First up, challenge number one perfect alignment. Each side of the Great Pyramid is perfectly aligned to true north, south, east, and west. But how could people 4,500 years ago, without a compass or GPS, achieve such accuracy? Experts believe that Egyptian architects used the stars, especially Polaris, the North Star to align the pyramid with astonishing precision. Their knowledge of astronomy and geometry was far beyond what anyone expected from ancient civilizations. Think about it. They were mapping the heavens to create an eternal monument on Earth. Next, challenge number two, leveling the ground. The pyramid stands on a perfectly leveled foundation, so flat that modern engineers are still amazed. Without laser leveling tools, how did they do it? Ancient builders used water channels to find the true horizontal plane. They carved a grid of trenches, filled them with water, and marked the water line. Then, they simply chiseled away any rock above that line. It was a genius method using nature's own level, water itself. Simple, effective, and utterly brilliant. Then there's challenge number three, cutting stones. Without modern tools, each limestone block was cut so precisely that you can tee even fit a razor blade between them. But they had no iron saws or grinders. So how did they carve 50-ton stones? Experts say they used copper chisels mixed with arsenic, creating a tool strong enough to slice stone. For hours and days, thousands of workers hammered, cut, and shaped these massive blocks until they were perfectly squared and polished. This was pure human determination and lost technology at its finest. And what about challenge number four, transporting the stones? The limestone quarries were nearly 250 kilometers away in a city called Toramadja. Imagine transporting 50-ton blocks without trucks or roads. Researchers believe the Egyptians used the Nile River to move them. They loaded the stones onto giant wooden boats, and thousands of workers pulled ropes to guide these floating giants toward Giza. Even today, engineers admit that replicating that feat would be nearly impossible a logistical puzzle of epic proportions. Now comes the biggest question of all, challenge number five, lifting the blocks. How did they lift these stones hundreds of feet high? Some experts think they built massive spiral ramps around the pyramid, while others believe they used zigzagging internal tunnels. Whatever the technique, one thing is certain, tens of thousands of workers must have pulled, pushed, and placed every single block with mathematical precision. It was a feat of engineering so advanced, it still defies logic. But the real mystery, Challenge number six, lies inside. Hidden chambers, narrow shafts, and secret tunnels run deep within the structure. And inside, the walls aren't made of soft limestone, they're made of granite, one of the hardest stones on earth, second only to diamond. Even with our modern diamond saws, cutting granite is no easy task. So how did ancient Egyptians carve it 4,500 years ago? Archaeologists discovered that the Egyptians might have used toothless bronze saws loaded with sand and quartz dust as abrasive. The sand acted like millions of microblades slowly slicing through the granite. But here's the catch. Just one block would take four months to cut. Can you imagine the patience and precision behind building something like this without machines, without electricity, just pure human willpower? It's a testament to their incredible dedication. Now, back to our robotic camera. When it finally drilled through that mysterious slab, it revealed a sealed chamber, untouched for 4,500 years. And what was inside? A narrow passage leading to another door, and behind it, something shining. Researchers are still analyzing what they found, but many believe it could be evidence of lost Egyptian technology, or even a royal secret that was meant never to be discovered. The Great Pyramid of Giza remains the oldest and only surviving wonder of the ancient world. It's more than just a tomb, it's a message from the past. 
a symbol of human brilliance that challenges everything we know about history. Who really built it? How did they do it? And what secrets still lie sealed within its ancient stones? Maybe one day, we'll finally uncover them all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe for part 2, where we'll reveal what scientists truly discovered inside the Great Pyramid's hidden chamber. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, because history is full of mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. Thanks for watching.